You stand accused of heresy, teaching what is against Mother Church. I have neither written nor taught anything contrary to the Holy Scriptures. You break the laws of our Church. Only when the Church breaks the laws of God. So, you set yourself above the authority of the Church. By God's grace, I am a servant of the Church, insomuch as the Church serves God. By your interpretation. By plain understanding of the Holy Scriptures. Your writings are smuggled into the hands of the common people. The Holy Word of God in common language. If the people seek the Scriptures, it is only because their soul is hungry. Recant! Confess your fault! Renounce your writings! Perhaps you shall be spared. I cannot but do as my conscience dictates. Admit your guilt! I cannot but do as my conscience dictates! Then you shall burn! Then I shall burn! William Tyndale, you are charged with heresy in that you have translated and distributed the Holy Scriptures in the English language, which is in direct violation of both state and church. You have denied the authority of the one true church and are sentenced to be executed by burning. May God have mercy on your soul. Lord, feed your sheep. Lord, open the King of England's eyes. Open the King of England's eyes! William's death seemed like a terrible defeat, but within two years, his dying prayer was wonderfully answered. King Henry ordered that every church in England make a copy of the English Bible available for public reading. Every church, Father. Every church. So you see, you and I can read God's word now because of the sacrifice that William and others made for us. Others like... Grandfather. <sighs> yes, Grandfather and other brave people like them who loved God's Word. Grandfather taught me, everyone who hears God's words and puts them into practice is like a... Wise man who built his house on the rock. <laughs> yes. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not <laughs> fall, because it had its foundation at the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain came down... If God spare my life, I will cause a ploughboy to know more scripture than the average priest. William Tyndale's work became the foundation for later editions of the Bible and has influenced our English Bible translations down to this day. The translation of the Bible into the many languages of the world is one of the great success stories of the Christian Church. Today, over six billion people now have some portion of the scriptures 
in their native tongue. That leaves about 380 million people worldwide without a Bible translation.